And joining Chris and I right now is Jen Zara Gould, a uh, Time reporter in Los Angeles. Jen, you have been looking into, into Chris Dorner's background, into what those who know him best have said about him. What are you hearing? It's very difficult to find out what makes him tick, and both law enforcement and mental health experts have been trying to figure that out. A lot of mental health experts believe he may have what's called his narcissistic personality disorder, but it's hard to say. He, he, is he well trained? Is he is he is he off the rocker? It, it's hard to say what's making him sick right now. Uh, have you heard anything? Uh, this is Chris Cuomo. Thank you, Jens, for joining us. Have you heard anything about uh, in his past that he had sought help for mental health, health issues while he was an officer? Does anybody speak to that? No one has verified that to me. I've spoke with, uh, spoken with people from his past, from his past with the Navy, uh, ex-girlfriends, uh, as well as former friends and neighbors, and no one has mentioned that, which is part of the reason why uh, this seemed to be so unpredictable. Now, Jens, as you're talking to us, we just want to tell our viewers that in the split screen right now, you'll see traffic starting to move much more quickly. We're not sure what that means about uh, what law enforcement is doing in this situation but just to point it out on picture and Jen's back to you um, as we're trying to understand what seems to be this confused uh, distinct personality people uh, so attracted to Dorner saw him as smiling happy a good athlete someone who loved his job and trying to compare that to this situation yes I know they're telling you they don't get it but in your investigation what's the best sense of what this is all about I think what it's all about is is a ticking time bomb underneath the surface. He he was very upset with the fire from the LAPD in 2009, and seems to not have expressed that. But underneath the surface was growing more and more and more bitter, until he cracked four years later. It was so unpredictable because so much time elapsed. That's not to say he didn't have these tendencies before. Uh, in his manifesto itself, he says, you know, from the from the very from the very beginning, even in first grade, he felt a lot of bitterness towards other people. Uh, and during his time at the LAPD, he had um, urges to, to aggressive against other officers. So it was something that was always there, but not something you could really expect. Did anybody give you any information to support uh, the outrage that the uh, suspect put forward about how he was right in this situation, how he was wrongfully fired. Were you able to find anything to support that? Because we had somebody review the case file for us, and it was fairly clear from the documentation of the hearing that his claims seemed to be without merit. But have you learned anything else that might support his outrage? The father of the man who was the center of that original uh, case uh, in 2007 uh, where Dorner uh, alleged that his training officer um, hit or kicked that man. That man's father did say, did tell a TV station, a local TV station here, um, that uh, that his son did in fact say, uh, report that he had been hit or been kicked, uh, was in line with what Dorner has said. Now, the LAPD didn't find that in their investigation, uh, so there are two different accounts there, and it's hard to say which is true. The LAPD did reopen the investigation uh, two days ago. Jens, so that, that's unclear. that father had been uh, the, the, the review board, which ultimately uh, got rid of Dorner from the police department. They were aware of the father's uh, testimony. They just viewed it as hearsay, correct? Yes, that's what, that's what, they, that's what they concluded. Um, the father did say on the air this week that he, he did hear his son say that. Um, I was not able to get in, in touch with the father directly, so I can't comment further on that. Uh, I know also, according to this review board, they felt that the, the, the man who alleged that, that he had been kicked by the female officer, uh, who, which uh, Dorner uh, was partnered with, and Dorner also said this female officer kicked this person, uh, was, I believe, schizophrenic and therefore viewed as an unreliable witness. And it really ended up becoming kind of a he said, she said between Chris Dorner uh, and, uh, and his partner. Um, and, uh, but again, authorities say they're going to look more into it. Jens, I appreciate you, uh, you talking with us. Jens Eric Gould, a uh, time reporter in, in Los Angeles who's been looking into the, the past of Chris Dorner, as frankly so many of us have over the last uh, several days as we've been trying to understand uh, what, uh, what, what is going through this man's mind.